Hi everybody, Greg Wilkins back here once again with you here with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. As always, I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will also serve as an encouragement, a motivation, and an inspiration for you and put a smile on your face as well. If you enjoy the Daily Pause devotional, make sure you hit that like button wherever you're watching and feel free to follow and subscribe to the Daily Pause devotional by checking out my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, or follow me on Twitter at Greg Wilkins 78. And if you know someone who may be blessed by the devotional you're watching right now, feel free to share it with them and also encourage them to like, follow, and subscribe to the Daily Pause devotional. My goal and desire for all of these devotionals is that every time you watch an episode, it gives you the encouragement to continue to strive to be the best that you can be on any given day. And always remember, God loves you, God cares for you, and God will always be there for you. I'm back from about a two-week uh, rest period from the Daily Pause, and I'm back and ready to go with more devotional, more inspiration, more encouragement, more music, and more everything. <laughs> now, thank you for being patient with the Daily Pause being on hiatus for a little bit. Now, thank you for your prayers and support of this devotional, and I hope that today's devotional is an added blessing for your day. Well, let's get started with today's devotional entitled, Our Orbit. In the mid-16th century, Nicholas Copernicus, a mathematician, an astronomer, a Catholic canon from Poland, redeveloped the theory that had been quashed over 18 centuries ago by a Greek astronomer that said that the Earth is not the center of the universe, rather it's the sun. They quashed it, they didn't believe it, they said there was no evidence of it, so they let it go. In the mid 1500s, Copernicus brought this theory back to life and he was ridiculed and he was laughed and he was mocked at. And unfortunately, he didn't have the technology at hand, so all he can do is go by what he looked at outside, which is what everybody told him. Look, look, the sun starts out over here and it ends over there, which only means that the sun is going around us. It's going around us. Dude, get yourself together. You are so wrong on this. No, that's, that's my vernacular. That's not what they were saying in 1542. But Nicholas still held on true to his belief that we lived in a heliocentric system, meaning that the sun was the center of the universe and not a geocentric where the earth was the center. Unfortunately, he died before he can prove that theory out. But the following century, Galilei Galileo supported that concept. He, in fact, he published a book about the solar system in which we live being heliocentric and not geocentric. And of course, the higher ups at that time were not having it. He was tried and convicted to house arrest until he changed his mind about his thoughts about the solar system being heliocentric. He didn't. He stayed in his home for the rest of his life, and that's where he died. But he held on to his belief that the sun was the center of the earth instead of the earth being the center. Of this happened. <laughs> Say it wrong. The sun being the center of the universe instead of the earth being the center of the universe. Well, now we know without a shadow of a doubt that the sun is the center of the universe. And I used the, that example in history about be the center. I talk about the orbit in which we travel and then the orbit in which we attract others around us. We try to look at how people act and how the people that they attract to them and the things that they do and the things they have in common with other people, whether it be church members, co-workers, friends, uh, students, uh, employees, employers, family members. However, we try to, we try to figure out who people are by the people they attract and the things they do and the things they have in common. But it's only part of it because we all share something with somebody else. Doesn't necessarily mean that we know what makes that other person tick. However, what does make us tick will attract others who think likewise. So have you ever wondered why people who always have a grouchy and grumbly attitude always drive, always attract other people with just down and depressing and negative and just cynical attitudes around them, it's because that's what they think. That's what they believe. And they share that same concept. They, we are drawn towards the people by what they are drawn towards. 
people who love sports are drawn more closer to people who enjoy sports because they enjoy sports. People who like cooking shows are drawn towards people, other people who like cooking shows because that's what they're drawn towards. But what drives us in our orbit? There are a lot of things that we all enjoy. There are a lot of things that we like doing in life. But if we keep going off material things, we'll live a not completely fulfilling life. There's always going to be something lacking. Although we may have people around us, we will soon discover that the people around us are only there to get what they can get out of us, out of the same common things we have. And once they got it, poof, they're gone. They're gone, never to be heard of from again. And they usually leave in a very, very not great way which leaves us scarred and broken and bitter and angry. But we go back to that material thing or that characteristic and we think it's gonna fulfill us. It doesn't do it all the way. So I want to encourage you to center your orbit around something and someone who has the power to keep you in peace when you feel like you're about to shake and go flying off kilter. It's something that will keep you in a, in a place of happiness when everything around you tells you you should be in a place of disaster. Something that's gonna keep you steady in your worst moments, keep you relaxed in your most desperate moments and keep you humble in your best moments. Nothing else can do that better than Jesus Christ. Now, the thing about that, just like Copernicus and Galileo thought the sun was the center of the universe. When we think that the son of God, Jesus Christ, is the center of our lives, there are going to be some people who won't like it just for that reason. And they'll get away from you. They'll get out of your way. They'll get out of your order. Even the people you thought that were in your inner circle that you're ride or die and they're your see you later Clydes, they will just disappear. But just like people who like sports are drawn towards people who like sports, there will be people who are drawn towards you because of your love for the Lord and for you holding your orbit with the Lord. And all the while, all the time those transitions are going on, people in, people out, things in, things out, events in, events out, those things keep coming and going into your orbit and, and, and trying to mess with your mind a little bit. God holds you in your orbit and your path around him. He keeps you there through every seasonal change we go through, just like the earth goes through. So we're in the middle of fall right now. We're going to enter into winter pretty soon. And we're going to spring and the summer and uh, fall and winter. All of the, all, throughout those changes in life, the Lord holds us around that orbit around him. And throughout every change, he reminds us in every single way, I'm with you. I'm with you every single way. You ain't got to worry about tomorrow. You ain't got to worry about what's coming up next. You ain't got to worry about what's happening tomorrow, what's happening a couple of hours from now. Seek me first. The Bible tells us, seek ye first in the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. So in that way, when we keep ourselves focused on Christ, we'll attract people who are attracted to the fact that we're attracted to Christ. And you'll notice as you get deeper in your walk with Christ, as you get deeper in your relationship with Christ, it's not as many people as you think. In fact, some of the people you thought that you that were with you will fall away. But you'll, you'll see those couple of people that are still there. That will be there, not because of what you can do for them, not because of just plain common interests, but because of the light that shines in you, because of the orbit that you take around the Lord. So I want to encourage you with this using the solar system as an analogy. We are centered around the sun, which is the center of our universe. And as every planet, every minor planet, every asteroid and every comet has a track, has an orbit around the sun, we also have an orbit around the Lord. And it holds us in place no matter what changes we go through. And just like we are held in place by the Lord, we have other people who orbit around us just like the moon orbits around the sun. And just like all the moons that orbit around Jupiter and Mars and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune and Pluto, they all have an orbit of themselves because they are attracted to what is holding you to what attracts them. So in other words, as we hold on to Jesus Christ, Jesus will enter people into our lives who will help encourage us, who will help motivate us, who will help strengthen us and be in that orbit around us. They help correct us when we fall. They help encourage us when we need it. They help motivate us when we need it to be that person that's there for us. As we hold on to God's hand, they will hold on to our hand and they will orbit around us and keep motivating us as we are being motivated by holding around Christ. So I want to encourage you 
The orbit you take is always discovered by what you think. And what you think controls your words. Your words control your actions. Your actions control your habits. Your actions control your character. And your character forms your destiny. Your thoughts are the central uh, platform in which everything else is laid out. So whatever you think is what you're centered on and what you're orbiting around. So when you think negative, you're going to draw negative, thing to, negative things to you and they'll feed on your negativity and you'll, they'll feed off your negativity and you'll feed off theirs and you'll feed off the negativity that fed off you and so on and so on. But when you hold on to Jesus Christ, no matter who leaves, no matter who comes, you're still holding on to Jesus Christ and people will be attracted to that and God will send people in your orbit to help motivate you and encourage you to stay in your orbit with Jesus Christ. Have you ever seen a planet fall off orbit and hit another planet? No. That's how strong the sun's hold is on the planets. That's how strong God's hold is on us. When we allow him to keep us in perfect peace, when we keep our minds stayed on him, he'll hold us on that orbit when we make him the center of our orbit. That brings us to today's feature song, which is Jesus at the Center, written by Israel Holton and performed by Israel and New Breed off their 2012 album, Jesus at the Center Live. This is an acoustic cover by Tamara Emma, who's a young lady I saw, I found this on YouTube and her YouTube channel is Tam, T-A-M. And it's a beautiful song. Just tell us that I love my first, my favorite part on the first words. Jesus is the center of it all. Jesus in the center of it all from the beginning to the end. It will always be and always it has always been and always will be you, Jesus. Nothing else matters. Nothing else in this world would do because Jesus, you're the center. Everything revolves around you. Everything good, bad, bad or indifferent. We may not understand the bad things that happen. And we may not feel good, but we do re realize and understand that all things work together for our good. And while those things are happening to us, God still holds us in that orbit around him, reminding us, I haven't left you. Remind you, I'm still here. Reminding you, you may be per perplexed, but not in despair. You may be cast down, but not destroyed. These things I allow to happen to you to bring out the best in you. And I'll bring around other people to orbit around you, to encourage you and to help you and help you encourage them as I encourage you. And that's what the Lord is, that's what being in the center of our lives is essential for the Lord to be. And I want to encourage you with that. There are great things that we have, we have desired in our lives, but we can't let that be the center of our life. Like I said before, what profited a man to gain the whole world, but to lose his soul? The Bible reminds us in Matthew chapter six, verses 30 through 34, that if the Lord is watching the sparrow, why would he not watch us? If he's watching the birds make their nests and the word birds don't have to want for anything to eat. Why are we worried about what we're going to eat tomorrow? What we're going to wear tomorrow? Think less about what we're going to need. Cause God's already knows what we need. He'll provide it. And when we keep us the center of our life and seek him first, he'll add everything else to us, including people. And he'll take away some people that we might not know that we don't need right now. And it'll hurt when they leave. It hurts when people leave our orbit. It hurts and we're offended by it. But God has a way of keeping us centered around him in a way that we won't crash into the next planet next to us, that we won't crash and wander aimlessly out into nothing. He'll keep us centered. He'll keep us focused. He'll keep us in that peaceful mindset, that peace that surpasses all understanding when we allow the Lord to be the center of our lives. And I pray that today's devotional will be an encouragement to you to allow Jesus to be the center of your life, to be the center of everything you do, say, and think. I don't care if it's at church. I don't care if it's in your home. I don't care if it's in school. I don't care if it's in your studies, in, in your job, in just digging ditches, raking leaves, whatever you do. Let, cent let Jesus be the center of it. Everything else will be added to it. He'll make, he'll give you gifts and he'll, and his gifts will make room for you and put you in front of great men. But it all happens when we keep Jesus in the center of our life. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your undying faithfulness towards us. We thank you for being the center of our lives. While things are going on today that we just do not understand, 
We know, Lord, we just hold on to you and we hold our peace and let you fight our battle. We know that victory will definitely be ours. Lord, let us continue to strive to make you the center of everything we do, say, and think. And Lord, when we feel like we're going out of orbit, let your grace and let your love and your mercy hold us. Make us stay closer to you than ever before. May we be closer to you than ever before. May we trust you than ever before. Regardless of what people say and think, regardless of what people do, let us continue to hold on and make you the center of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, this is the part of our devotional in which we give our birthday and anniversary shout outs. And today, well, before I before that, I need to tell you how you can send yours in. You can send those in by leaving them in the comment section below. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook Messenger by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com by texting me at 860-864, excuse me, 860-1522. Or you can also reach out to me on Twitter at gregwilkins78. And when you leave your note about your birthday and anniversary shout outs, make sure you preface that note with birthday and anniversary shout outs. So I'll know exactly what it's for. Also, send in your comments, your devotional topic requests, or any audio or video performances that you would like to see featured as a part of the Daily Pause, as well as any quotes or any inspirational stories that you would like to see covered and discussed on the Daily Pause devotional. To do that, send those to the same places and preface that note by saying, comments. Today, we want to wish a very special happy birthday to Aaron Goach. And I want to wish a very, very special happy birthday to Atrina Harris. Atrina and Aaron, I hope you're both blessed. Hope that God continues to bless you with many more birthdays and enjoy your birthday on this first day of November. That's going to do it for today's edition of the Daily Pause Devotional. I pray that today's devotional is a blessing to you and an encouragement for you to allow Jesus to be the center of everything that you do. Don't worry about people leaving your life. Don't worry about people who try to bombard your life because they see something changed. God will weed out those who are truly sincere about who you are and not what you can do for them. And while they orbit around you, you'll be able to encourage them. They'll be able to encourage you as the Lord encourages you and as you hold your orbit around him. And those people will be drawn to you as you are drawn to the Lord. Don't worry about anybody else or what anybody else may say. You keep your, your peace and yourself focused and centered on Jesus every step of the way. Continue to love each other. Continue to be safe. And remember, every day there is always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song, Jesus at the Center, written by Israel Houghton and originally performed by Israel and New Breed off their 2012 album, Jesus at the Center Live perform at the Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, and, and uh, provided by Integrity Music and RGM Newbury. This is an acoustic version by Tamara Emma, and you can find her on YouTube, on her YouTube channel, Tam, as well as on Instagram, on, on, on Facebook, and all over social media. So check her out. She will be a blessing to you. And I hope this song is an added blessing to you as well. May God continue to cover you, increase you, and bless you in all that you do, say, and think on today. And enjoy today's feature song. It starts right now. Thank you for watching this edition of the Daily Pause Devotional. Take care, God bless, and I love you all. Catch you later. Jesus at the center